what's up guys welcome back to my channel i'm really excited to share with you how i put some dendrobium seedlings that i acquired recently so stay tuned and let's go pot those seedlings Welcome back friends. So these are the dendrobium seedlings that I recently acquired and I'm going to show you how I put these seedlings. But before I do that, I'm going to introduce you to each of the seedlings. I'm going to show you the blooms for each seedling. The first one I'm going to show you is this one right here. It says Dendrobium sonia Isakul. I don't know how they come up with these names, you know, guys. Here it is, it's a beautiful bloom. And if you look closely here, you'll see that this seedling has bloomed before, and there's a little spike coming right here, so it's gonna bloom shortly. But they always say that with a seedling or a kiki. You want to remove the bloom because you don't want to stress the plant because the rooting system has not yet been fully established so i may very well if it comes to fruition i may very well just remove it for that purpose other one right here is kaido beauty it's a small plant but the blooms are gorgeous this is pramod splash Doraemon and this one is Sopan Bori White cross with Doreen <laughs> guys I can't even call the name <laughs> and this beauty here is Dendrobium Butterfly Stripe number two This is pink stripe number 044. Four. Don't know what the numerals stand for or what they signify. And this is Bangkok gold. This is very beautiful. Bangkok gold number two. And this one here is King Dragon pink stripe. And this is two tone number 197. And this is Venus, guys. Look at this one. This is just out of this world. Look at this. It's a purple with white. Purple bloom with white in between the purple. Very, very pretty. And this one here is may kneel your eye one guys stay with me if i'm not pronouncing the names properly but i don't know how they come up with these names so as i said before these are the seedlings they are quite healthy and we're going to go right into the potting tutorial first thing i'm going to do is to remove as you notice or if you notice let me hold them up for you to see they are they were grown or they are being grown in coconut husk so the first thing I'm going to do is to remove the husk from each plant because the husk will retain water. You don't want to have your seedlings sitting in water. So I'm going to remove it. But in order to remove it without damaging the roots, I'm going to saturate the coconut husk in water. And that will allow the husk, for, that will allow me to gently remove the husk from the roots. There you go, guys. Once you saturate the coconut husk in water, it comes off quite easily. It removes itself from the well, with your help or my help, of course. It's going to remove. It's going to be easy to remove it from the roots, I should say. So here it is. Thank you. 
and I'm not wearing my gloves right now my pair of gloves because it's gonna be too hard it's gonna be clumsy wouldn't be able to remove the husk properly with the gloves on so I'm not wearing my gloves right now I'm using my bare hands Here I have removed all the coconut husk from the roots of each seedling. As you can see, there were the coconut husk was gently and carefully removed, guys. Here it is right here. And I'm now going to put the seedlings. The medium that I'll be using today is or it consists of charcoal, small pieces of charcoal and construction gravel or river stones. So that's the medium that I'll be using today to pot these seedlings. And these are the pots that I'll be using. I'm using these small pots because the seedlings are tiny. You don't, you don't want to have or to use big pots or large pots to have the plants moving around. Yes, you can secure them inside the pots, but I've come to know or to learn that dendrobiums like when their roots are pot bound. So they don't like to be in too large a pot. They like when their roots are tight within the container. So hence, I'm going to be using these small pots to pot them. And I'm now putting on my gloves because I'll be handling the gravel. So I have to protect my precious fingers. All right, so this is the medium as I said before, and it was wet. It's wet. I'm going to put pieces on the bottom of the pot oh and before I have my as always I have my solution here hydrogen peroxide and graphite I'm going to saturate the roots of the plant. Just put some on the entire plant for a pot. You rest the plant within the container. And you don't want to bury the plant too deep because that can rot the cane of the plant whenever you water. So you have the roots sitting just above it. And as I said before, you could have secured it with cable strap, but I'm not going to be using that today. Okay. You see, when you're not gentle, guys, this is what happens. So just take your time whenever you're putting. And in the essence of time, guys, I'm going to be saturating some of these roots. So, to save some time.
So guys, these are the seedlings. They have been potted. And I'm sure they're going to do pretty well because this is something that I've done. I've been doing for quite a while, potting seedlings because all my dendrobiums that I acquire, they're mostly bare root or seedlings. So I, nor I don't normally acquire established dendrobiums. I like to do the potting and to care for them. And it, is, it gives a nice feeling when they develop into mature plants because they know they are coming from baby stage. So these are the seedlings, as I said before. We have now come to the end of another video. I thank you so much for joining me today in my garden as usual. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Precious Blooms JA. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, see you soon.